Hi guys, Todd from Prairieland uh, Bushcraft, and I'm a trainer in uh, in training for Great Lakes Bushcraft. And I got tagged by Jamie Burley to do my essential kit. And so this is it. It's not real big, uh, but it's not real small either. Kind of tool heavy, but uh, that's the way I prefer it. So take a good look. This is what I have. Okay, as far as my kit is concerned, this is what I would generally carry on even a two or three day outing. Uh, I have a 16 inch Wetterlings small axe with face cover. I also carry now a Woodsman Owl from Diving Sparrow. This is very handy piece of kit for doing repairs or if you're doing any leather working or anything for any reason out in the field. I carry that. It's a triangular shape, high carbon steel. File down to a needle point. You can get through just about anything with this. I carry a Woodlord clone. I can carry a belt or a necker. I also carry a blind horse knife, frontier valley. Uh, I feel very comfortable with the idea of going out with just this knife and an axe. I can do just about anything I want. As far as cordage is concerned, I carry the 18, the number 18 bank line and the 400 foot roll. It's compact enough to where it fits very nicely. And uh, I don't mind cutting it <coughs> if I need to. Just some basic kits. This is a filtration system for water. Uh, I usually carry three or four coffee filters and a, and a bandana if I need to collect local water and filter it out and boil it. And I use this to process the water. I carry a Brunton compass. It's a lens attic. I carry also a Coleman Max flashlight. It's an LED. Uh, it's rated like 220 lumens. So in real dark, it's like looking at the sun definitely gets you where you're going if you can't, uh, you know, if you're at low moonlight or you have bad eyesight in the dark, you know, that's what I rely on then. i got a fire kit that uh, I carry a flint and steel. My steel is the, st the Sparrow Striker, again from Diving Sparrows. I carry a burning lens, a little chaga uh, for tinder. I have jute twine in there for tinder. I have a ferro rod and a small bick. And that's what I also carry the micro inferno for really bad wet conditions. I like the compact size. They're, and if you are trying to do it in the dark, you're kind of orange, so if you drop it, you can see it pretty well. Carry a uh, char cloth tinder box in the old long hunter fashion, kind of a Hudson Bay tin. I carry a cat. Get out of here, Discord. Come on, you ham. Discord. This is why we named him Discord. He creates Discord wherever he goes. So my uh, cooking water collection system, I have what's called a, a miner's lunchbox. And it's, it's aluminum, it's got a bale handle, it's got a lid. Uh, I can carry food in here, obviously, and uh, collect water, boil water. And when that lid's in place, it's actually pretty airtight. It's actually a little more watertight than my guy out bottle is, which is kind of sad. Uh, carry a Vargo titanium spork and uh, a small pot. It's about a 16 millimeter pot, and it nests very nicely with the miner's lunchbox. Of course, the handle gets not really nice and nicely. Put those nests together quite well. And uh, as far as shelter is concerned, I always carry a Kelty rain poncho. It's a sole nylon, so it gets a little, a little uncomfortable sometimes. I wish it breathed better. Uh, 
for a tarp. I'm carrying the all-terrain all hybrid harp from Grand Trunks. And uh, as you can see, this thing is a, rated at 450 pounds for a hammock. You can use it as a rain fly, you can use it as a lean-to, an A-frame. You can use it, you know, if, you're, if you have a full-size tent, you need a, a ground cloth, you can use that. Uh, just about any different kind of configuration you can imagine. Uh, that's, that is one of the coolest pieces of equipment I've gotten in a long time. That's a uh, 10 by 10 square tarp if you need it. Uh, tons of tie-outs. Comes with guy lines and, and small stakes. Just, I mean, it's an all-in-one. And I carry the proverbial uh, wool blanket. I got these bandings from a uh, paracord guy here just recently, so I can tie that off on the bottom of my my rock, which I carry a Condor 2 for my expedition. You got plenty of little pockets, but not too many pockets where you lose gear, and it holds all this. Uh, another piece of carry, uh, which everything is seated on right now, is a 5x7 Mest tarp. Uh, manufacturer is uh, Etowah, sold through a third party company, but it's also a sill nylon. Got plenty of tie outs going across the bottom. No ridge line because it's, you know, it's a pretty small tarp, it's a 5x7, but I use this thing for tons of different things. I've used it for collecting leaves for a, a debris shelter. You know, you can tie up one end, um, pull it full of leaves, drag it around. You can do it for a quick five minute shelter. Just about anything you can possibly imagine. I've even considered cutting a neck hole in it and using it as a, as a poncho as well, but decided against that. And I usually carry two pieces of bungee cord but my son has that in his pack right now. Why he took mine, I'm not sure. But that's my essential carry kit. And I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I've done several weekenders, uh, solo weekenders and in groups with this kit, you know, or small variations thereof, and been very, very comfortable. So it's uh, not so much what you bring, but what you know. And uh, so that is my essential carry kit. Now, hello again. Since this is tag your it, I am going to tag Jeff Kindy. So Jeff, let's see what you got, bud. Have a good week. Thanks for looking.